welcome to my channel. If you're new here, of course everybody is new here. My name is Doreen or if you like it, you can call me Dee. So today I have a project, a DIY project that I was able to make my photo frame, but I did not frame my photos. What I did, I framed something that, a message. So basically instead of going to shop and buying it, and now that I know, you, are, you, you can have some time and make this one. It won't take you a lot of time. So today I'm going to show you basically how to make it using locally available materials, how to join the pieces together and come up with something that is nice as this one. The reason I choose to make friends, it is because it is one of the simplest DIY projects for a beginner. So this frame, you can use it as a photo frame, a family photo. Apart from that, you can frame your art. You have an art and you can also frame your customized message, like the one I've done here. These pieces, you can have them as a deco in your living area. You can also have them in your kitchen, like this one is supposed to be in my kitchen. You can also have them in your bedroom. And apart from that, you can also have them in your corridor area. So apart from using these uh, frames, as house decor, I also sell them, I make them and sell them. Making them cost me um, less than Kenya shillings 1000, but I sell them each piece at 1800. The sizes are, um, this is a head 3, that is 12 by 16. So today I'm going to show you the materials that I use and the process, the process of making this frame. For it to look nice like this. So basically, this is how to make a frame at the comfort of your home. Okay, for this frame, you need to okay for the frame you need to join the four pieces together depending on your measurements so mine i was supposed to, okay i was doing a a3 that is 16 by uh, 16 by 12 inches you're supposed to be very keen on your measurement for your frame to be to be the right size okay so that it doesn't shake or it doesn't look bigger the other side for it to be a perfect frame like this of mine. So I joined it, then I had to paint it black because I wanted mine to be black and then let it out to dry. This paint I used to just dry on the sun. When you just put it on the sun outside, that is what I mean. Uh, sorry I did not film that, but next time, because I'm, I'm doing more of them, I'm going to show you how I did it. So for the frame, you have to join the four pieces of wood. Yes, these four pieces of wood. And how did I join them? I used glue. I think you can see it here. I used glue and a very small, let me say small and tiny, a nail. So after joining them, that is when I painted, at least for the glue and the nail not to be visible from outside. And there is also another pattern here that if you're not able to make it, you can just request any fundi around your place to make it for you. Another thing I want you to be so careful when you're making this one is the measurement. Remember you want your frame to look nice. You want it to be firm, not shaky. So you have to be very correct when you're doing your measurement. So this is an A3. Mine was 16 by 12 inches. As you can see and it's a very firm yes it's a very firm frame the inside part also this pattern it has to be a very accurate because remember this is where you're going to put your uh, your clear glass and also the box or the plywood that you're going to put after you you put your photo or anything that you wanted to frame using your frame so the next item you need in order to make your frame is this clear glass this clear glass comes uh, in uh, many let me say dimensions 
but I prefer if you're able to get a 1.5 mm, it's better. Or if you don't get that one, even if you use 3 mm, still it works. But I like the, the smaller one here. I'm talking in terms of this. Yes. The next thing you need here is your plywood. You don't have to use plywood, but this thin, the thin one, or also you can use a box if you have it, if you don't have this one. Um, remember, we are trying to reduce the weight of the frame. So we are trying to use the least, uh, the one with the least weight. So you can use a box or you can also use this type of plywood. Then for your frame to be complete, remember, we cannot have a complete frame without a photo or any art or any message that you want to, to you wanted to frame. So among my messages that I really wanted to frame is what you can see here. I have a message here. This this is my house decor. Um, it says this is us, our life, our story, our home. So this is now we get to join um, these pieces to have a complete frame with our message in it. So the first thing you do, you wipe your clear glass. wipe your clear glass and slide it slowly make sure it doesn't cut you you don't want any injuries and then get your art card where you printed your message or if it's a photo and it perfectly fits then the next thing you're supposed to do is take your plywood and make it, slide it inside. These are the tools that you're supposed to be using. And then the small nails, put them. And also use if you don't want to use more nails you can also use your cell tape and have it round and then your final product is going to be like this and the message reads this is us our life our story our own